So he does a cold open first. You don't say nothing. What does that mean? Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, we've got special guests, Aaron and Mike, and a special guest, Doggy, plus Korean Max. Today on Box Back. Let's take it again because the shot, you know, you the pen down to the dog. It's real. <laughs> He's just staring at the phone. Okay. Frankie, today on Box Back, we've got special guests. Special guests. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you said Aaron and Mike. <laughs> and a dog. Close enough. Okay, today. I'm Box Mag! I'm Box Mag! I've never seen John so animated in my life. <laughs> Have you not watched 80, 80 episodes of Box Mag? It's different to see it in person. <laughs> they're Korean Max? Yeah, they are Korean, but they're they're barely Max. It's a cup of noodle in a bag. Yeah, it's a it's bag of noodles. You stir fry the noodles. And then you make a light soup out of them, but then you dissolve the soup away. <laughs> and there's a hypnotized angry chicken on the package, eating a block of cheese. He's really into the cheese. His teeth are bearing. I'm, I'm seeing teeth, chompers in there. So we only have two types, but we have two packs of each, so we're gonna make a double double batch, because we do have four of us. Of us. So we, sh we should say who Aaron and Mike even are. I don't know. So th those who listen to How Are We. Yeah. You know, all of those episodes. How are yes. we? The, uh, the 30 of you that have listened to all of those. Oh, a jab at how are we? <laughs> Suddenly somebody's, somebody's a star. Johnny, come lately. <laughs> <laughs> it's your 15 minutes, Johnny. We don't do it every week anymore, but Aaron was the primary co-host. <laughs> Trust me on this! And Mike was on there all the damn time. Mike is Aaron's uh, husband. I almost said boyfriend, but it's, yeah. Or wife. It's been like a, a, a box Mac bucket list. Yeah. To get these assholes on here. Yeah, because it, it's it's tough. They're, they're, they're so busy, they're so exclusive. We gotta fly them in, they gotta come in from I don't far see away. You driving anywhere. <laughs> you roll out of your bed, no into way. the bidet, over to the kitchen. He skipped that. our wedding. Plus, there's a dog that has to come. That's the main the But the culprit. dog is lovely, actually. Did you get to take a good look at these? They look like a slimy, cheesy, gross ramen. Does anybody have high hopes for this? Anyone? Unlike, you know, an American package, it's got a bizarre caloric count of like 239 calories. Yeah. <laughs> and this is 550 for this package. Yeah. And I, I feel like this one, the extra flavor might be edible, but this one's just gonna be odd, I think. The doggy's gonna get some cheesy ramen? Probably yeah, she'll love it. You guys ever have cheesy ramen before? Hell no. No, just chicken and shrimp. Even even our local ramen, which is like the, the Matron ramen, the cheap stuff you buy, does have a cheese variety, but nobody ever buys it. I have no recollection of a cheese variety of that ramen. Chicken yep. flavor. Shrimp, beef, yep. yep, that's about it. There's a pork, too. I'm not really a ramen guy in general. Yeah. No? It's, it's fantastic. At least the cup of noodle, which is a ramen, but just put in a cup. Was it the yaka, yakisomi? Uh, yakisoba. That, that was, was a cheesy ramen. It was okay. Right. There's Ocean State Job Lot brand. Yeah. No. Yakisoba. This is like spaghetti and cheese. The yakisoba one, I think, um, is okay. Do you think these are imported from another nation? I think this one is <laughs> made. The Great East. Another nation. It's Korean text on the front, but the directions on the back are in Chinese and English. Tapioca. It must be South Korean, yeah. Yeah, like Kim Jong-un is packaging this himself. Manufactured in Korea. Cheese flakes. The third highest ingredient, Does cheese flakes. Say cheese flakes? <laughs> cheese flakes. Green tea extract, I would expect nothing less. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Very specifically, I shall read you the words. Put noodle into the 600 ml boiling water for five minutes. Please remove water from the noodles, remain eight spoon of water, and put liquid soup into noodles, stir fry 30 seconds. Put cheese powder and stir well and serve. I'm pretty sure Google Translate's already done for us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not just as bad, but it uses cc's instead of milliliters. And it uses three till four instead of three dash four. 550 cc and simmer for three uh, till four. Double, quote four <laughs> minutes till double the four. noodles are tender. <laughs> Stir in cheese powder mix into soup and enjoy! Exclamation point. Avoid direct sunlight, by the way. Don't forget that. Did yes. I say that? Yes. <laughs> really? Oh my god. <laughs> what happens with direct sunlight? I, I imagine the chemicals fall out of the the, uh, the packaging into my noodles. <laughs> Turns into instant cyanide. I am not a cook of the European Union, so you <laughs> must look up to, for, for me what is 550 milliliters in ounces. Alexa, what is 550 milliliters in ounces? Alexa? Her name's Echo. Echo, what are 550 milliliters in ounces? 550 milliliters is 18.6 fluid ounces. Two cups. Isn't a cup eight ounces? Yeah, so 16, it's 18. Did eight, she say 15 ounces? 18.6. Oh, I totally missed the numbers. <laughs> Echo, <laughs> what are 550 milliliters in ounces? 
Get it. She, she misheard you. 0 0.05 meters. <laughs> 0 0.5 meters per second of water. Alexa, what's 550 cc in liters? Echo. It's not Alexa. It's Echo. Echo. <laughs> yes? You need to. Then you would have to repeat the question again. <laughs> just say Echo after the fact. <laughs> yeah. You feel like we're teaching your parents how to use it. <laughs> when they're just constantly looking at it, they say something and then they go, Alexa. <laughs> 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 like she caught it all beforehand. <laughs> Carrying on. <laughs> Alexa, what's 550cc? It's not meters? Alexa! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you, you call do? it? Echo. Echo. Echo, what do you. Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, forget it! <laughs> this is meant for youngsters. I wonder if you convert cc's into liters. You can, it's exactly the same. You just have to ask her correctly. Liters. Echo. <laughs> right? <laughs> See, yes. you said the word echo, you ask the question afterwards. <laughs> Mike, Once what the f*** is this? going on? <laughs> I don't know. The man doesn't understand. I'm getting embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. A thousand weird internet people <laughs> laughing question? at me. What is the question? <laughs> 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 Let's get the answer to Mike's question. <clears throat> echo, what is 550 cc's in liters? That's all you had to do. Alexa. <laughs> Nope, she couldn't do I'm it. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, once again. Echo, what's 550 cc's in liters? 0.55. Sorry, I'm not sure. Zach says 0.55. Can she do 550? It is 0.55, Zach's right. Yeah, it, it is. CC's a cubic centimeter. But can you do 550 mils to liters, I wonder? Who cares? I know what the conversion is. Yeah. This is no longer box mac. Box mic. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could just put any amount of water yeah. that you want in just here. Any arbitrary amount. So I hate on regular box mac, it tells you to use like four to five cups or whatever the hell it is, but you drain it after the fact. So what does it matter how much water I use? If you use too little, obviously it's gonna absorb so all of it. Care. That's true. I don't normally care about this either, but I've learned across my 80 episodes of box mac that apparently the salt ratios really matter. Oh yeah, I, t I caught that on the first episode when you poured in you know, about half of a, a cup of salt. Nobody was surprised it was salty. We're gonna use 50 grams of salt. It seems like a lot of salt, let me tell you. But almost all that salt's gonna go down the drain. Very little of it actually gonna make it into the pasta. I do taste pronounced salt in both. It actually makes me call into question if I did something wrong in the prep. I don't know what I could have done. The confidence you exuded that you, you knew that this wasn't gonna be trouble. Everybody watching was like, what are you doing? But it does also beg the question of was he making mac that way all, like. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's why we love the mac. There was a ton of butter and salt. No, that was an excessive amount of salt. <laughs> you might as well have used seawater. <laughs> At the time, I thought that more salt would be thrown away when you drained it, and less would be absorbed by the pasta. That was not true. So, lessons were learned. He's basically like, don't, don't hold me accountable for what I did on episode one. Yeah, Frankie. <laughs> How old were you at that point? Uh, 15, I don't know. How many boxes of mac had you made? <laughs> Six. How many pots of pasta have you boiled? Three. And you didn't know that was too much salt? I actually had not salted water before that time. Some salt, a little bit of vegetable oil, it's standard procedure for pasta boiling. I know now. All right. Give it a ball. Give so it a ball. Is this your first <laughs> <laughs> Do you even like mac and cheese? Yeah. What's your favorite? Beecher's mac and cheese. What? We haven't even done that. It's the best mac and cheese on the f***ing planet that's frozen. Pike's Place Market. They make their own cheese, this giant vat of cheese, and they sell macaroni and cheese fresh made there. Oh, they're making cheese. Hey guys, elbow deep in cheese. There's the mac, there's the cheese. We're gonna combine them. So we can go to Wegmans. They have the Beecher's mac and cheese and get some. I saw a recipe for slow cooker mac and cheese. A yes. four to eight hour cook. And I imagine it comes out like an OCB type mac and cheese. Really kind of mushy and like it was made in the toilet. I made one, it was a one pot. You just threw everything in at the start and then walked away for eight hours. Is that the kind you're talking about? Yeah. You yeah. tried it. Yeah, and it was okay. You tried it, it out, right. out of a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever mention the mac and cheese night we did at our place? That no. fateful evening? It was sort of like a proto box mac. It was a little bit. Yeah. There was like, it's probably eight of us and there was food for 40. And at the end, everybody just wanted craft. Craft <clears throat> yes. mac and cheese. It was kind of a bummer. A blue box. And we made, one of them was like 90 bucks in the cheese that we bought. Well, because you needed Gouda and like a thousand different kinds of cheese. So we yeah. tried making that. And ninety dollars later, on a stop and shop, it was terrible. How about the roommates that were fighting over macaroni and cheese? I don't remember this. <laughs> oh yes, you do. She was a terrible person. It's possible that they had a short-armed <laughs> roommate at one time. So mean. She point. didn't have all five fingers on each hand. No, we have a team. All the rooms were occupied by different roommates, so we had um, 
some guy that was into CrossFit, ex-Marine, the pinnacle of fitness, and then Hot. we had, oh, fantastically hot. Hot stuff. Uh, and then we had this T-Rex creature uh, roaming the house, and then her boyfriend moved in, who lived down the road about five minutes. And Informally, he, right? Like Yeah, yeah. He would ask like for us to get off our TV and our gaming systems to use it, and so they'd start coming in and fighting about who was gonna make the mac and cheese at like 10 o'clock at night. Right. And then once asked to put up a small tent-like hut in the front yard, if that was okay, <laughs> I and they just sat in there for for a day. I opened this first one here. There's a soup powder sachet, which is clearly like, it's gonna be super salty. A sachet? <laughs> it's spicy, and I feel like I'm- Not loving it. Gonna kill myself soon. And I've got a little dried vegetable pouch as well. Jalapenos. Snoopingas. Snoopingas. There's our ramen. Looks pretty much like your standard everyday ramen. This type of noodle is really troublesome also because it overcooks very quickly. So this one has bizarre black cheese packet. Ooh. That does nice. not look appealing. A blacket. The blatchet. The blatchet. Why is this cheese black? Why is this cheese black? Like that Japanese black hamburger from McDonald's. Why you ever see that? Yeah, they dye it with squid ink. Oh, fantastic. That's what I want. The bun is completely dyed and the burger is completely dyed, so it's all black. And the cheese is, too. We call it the braga. Tell the Bob Backlund story real quick. Let's go ask Bob Backlund about his Bob Backlund story. <laughs> There's a very old wrestler that's selling his autobiography. I don't know who he is. All I know is we walked by some man in a booth by himself wearing suspenders, looking sort of sad into the distance. <laughs> and Frankie just points at him and goes, Bob Backlund? And, and he knew what his name was. He knew his name. <laughs> He's fading away at the flea market. Bob Backlund? <laughs> <laughs> Bob Backlund. Bob Backlund? That's me. As we proceed to walk away and snicker. You get his fingers yeah. in his suspendies. <laughs> that was very immature of us to walk off snickering at Bob Backlund. <laughs> that poor sad man. Was he like the announcer or something? He doesn't look like a wrestler. He was the janitor. Yeah. We went to uh, middle school and high school together. We had a hall monitor who- Lethal Paul. Yeah, who, who by, de by night, I guess, was a wrestler. And his name was Lethal Paul. And, and let's face it, probably an overpaid hall monitor. You no, know, he seemed like he was getting paid hall monitor rate. That's why he was so angry at the world. Did that even justify a full-time salary, that job? Benefits? As, as a local wrestler, you're probably not making bank. So in the mornings, we had Channel One News, which was a... Nationally syndicated show. This nationally syndicated news thing. But then we also had closed circuit television that came on right after the news show. And it was a way for like a dorky kid to be like, today's announcements include... But on occasion, they would take the opportunity to go onto the closed circuit show and discipline all of us. And in one case, it was that we had, there was a janitor who looked like Ernest P. Worrell, and we- A, a school-wide threat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop kick all your asses, kids. It was really obvious. He looked, it, he was a doppelganger. And also, uh, Jim Varney had just died. <laughs> it was a sensitive subject. You know what I mean, Vern? I mean, this guy, every day of his life, every time he'd walk somewhere, you would just be hearing, hearing Ernest references in the distance, because <laughs> yeah. he couldn't get over it. He looked just like Ernest. Can you imagine Ernest walking around in school after he's dead? So Lethal Paul pops onto the closed circuit TV. We remember him being in silhouette. <laughs> and he's like, if you keep making fun of my friend, you know. Ernest. <laughs> Mr. P. Worrell. There was another time where we, the school yearbook, you were supposed to sign something at the end of eighth grade and everybody got really inappropriate in it. The school like librarian tech person got on TV and was like, this is the first year we're ever doing this. And she <laughs> rips it apart. And then there was like a really delayed but slow <laughs> fade away. threw her off a ring. <laughs> All right, black cheese time. Looks like hoisin sauce. It's, it's hoisin sauce. Oh it's my. It's hoisin sauce that's super salted. But why does it say cheese on it? And it oh, wants us to stir fry good. this for just a little bit. Uh-oh, Maka's got something. That log was not meant to be moved. What happened to the noodles? They disappeared. They dissolved. Can I serve that, please? Oh, sure. I can't believe you're serving noodles with a spoon. That's a great idea. This gadget. <laughs> no, keep trying that. Would you like to do it? <laughs> no, I just want to keep laughing. <laughs> All right, four noodles to every person. There's no way these are going to be any good, right? Just going to town on that thing. This is the Padillo brand cheese fromage ramyon. It's kind of good. It's like a salty ramen, a little spicy. I don't taste any difference from this, the normal chicken, except it's a little spicier. Yeah, a little bit spicier, a little bit better like ramen quality. There's nothing cheesy about it other than no. slightly orange. It kind of tastes like they put the oil from a Chinese restaurant on top of the ramen. Yeah. That's what I'm tasting. Yeah, it's got a very Chinese food taste. It's not bad. I'd give it a three out of a but 10. It's definitely not macaroni and cheese. <laughs> no. So this one looks like the color of Chef Boyardee ravioli. Actually, it is quite spicy. <laughs> It's very spicy. You didn't like that black packet? Yeah, it tastes like nothing but spice. Do you like your spicy things? I like spicy things. It's not bad. It's not something I could eat, but it's not bad. 
No. Give me some more of that. Something just stay right with that. A smattering on the senses. Yeah. It's too much. It's yeah. all just heat and salt. Yeah. Salty even for Hot me. salt. The problem is the day after on the toilet, this is not gonna be pleasant. No. <laughs> no. I'm assuring you on that. The ring of fire. Korean Max, not very good. Thank you. Next time, <laughs> Box Max. <laughs> John was miserable. I hope you enjoyed it, audience. I just don't care. <laughs> Hey, Vern, I bet you'd like a cold, smooth, mellow yellow right now, wouldn't you? You know, Vern, there's nothing like a good old cold mellow yellow when you're all hot and sweaty.